Now, I warn you, I'm pretty sure we've done everything we know how to do, but I'm more than happy to let you look, because I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And this doesn't have to be free, by the way. I'm more than happy to pay, because if this works, great. If it doesn't work, I'm screwed. So, you know, there's that. Hmm. Okay, um, let's, let's take a look. Yeah, so may I share my screen? Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah, I just want to ask permission. Okay, cool. So the ad is, let me show you all the stuff that we've checked. Uh, all right, so the ad is new solopreneur, and you'll notice 5307, blah, 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 whatever up here, all right? So when I go over here, 5307, blah, 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 I'm connected. My page is connected, okay. supposedly. Okay, okay. Scroll, down, Suppos scroll down for me, will you? Sure, man, sure. Scroll down. What else do you got there? Okay. Just the boring usuals. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so as far as I can tell, the, you know, the ads manager, proper ad, proper ad account, mm -hmm. et cetera. Okay. Uh, synchronized here. Then when I click on Facebook form fields mapping, mm -hmm. as far as I can tell, um, well, right now, nothing. There we go. Okay. It says a little check mark here that it's turned on. And when I click on edit, it says that my first name is mapped to first name, email to email, phone to phone. Okay. Okay. As far as I can tell, that part's good. When I go to my workflow, right? Mm -hmm. Supposedly good, right? The settings are, you know, the the email thing here allow multiple right in case okay. somebody forgot about it and writes back good uh show me the trigger will you sure sure amster root read facebook lead form submitted so i'll click on that new solopreneur right which is the ad that we just went for gotta get mm -hmm. our faces out of the way what if uh, uh, what if you click on that too what, what you... sure yeah no problem just the that way. is kind of well yeah because this is my first ad right yeah. i've not i've not really done it before okay okay so far as i can tell lead form submitted inform this that that right yep. yada yada product okay when i go to history by the way publish is on save is on yeah right when i go to history seems not a thing mm -hmm. okay lamentable but sure um I have a way to show you this. I might actually have uh, a way to show you. Have you, um, I believe I heard there was this, like maybe this Facebook lead form tester thing. Have you tried that? Um, that sounds familiar, but let me show you. Okay. These four people mm -hmm. did not get notified in my workflow, I did not get a notification. They did not get an email. They did not get a text. Mm -hmm. But when I go to the ad itself and I click on on Facebook leads, mm -hmm. you know, these it, four. It shows, it shows up there? The result. Yeah. It shows that some real thing happened. New solopreneur, right? And this matches the phrase we just checked. Mm -hmm. Leads breakdown, right? Well, look, now I have six. Two more have apparently come in. So that's mm -hmm. cool, right? Yeah, but but be before the refresh, there was four. Anyway, those four I just showed you a second ago. So I can see that it's working. I can see that people can fill out the form. And some people are filling out the form, right? Sure, not many, right? Out of 400, 500, you know, six sure. people. Well, we still. don't care about that. We want the thing to work right now. Exactly. So if something is happening. Mm hmm but it's not going from here to there. And I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe call support because it seems, it seems like I've checked all the boxes. Like I can't think of any other boxes I haven't checked. Do a Google search for um, Facebook lead form tester. I mean, okay. Facebook lead ads tester. There you go. Yeah, sure. That top one mm -hmm. there. For shizzle my nizzle. Okay, let's get this out of the way. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. It might be that top one. I don't know. I mean, oh, well, the top one. Yeah, I didn't see that one. I saw Zapier and, and uh, this. Yeah. 
You're quick with the pen. Good job. Good job. And all this is saying, right? And maybe this is part of the problem. I don't think it's part of the problem. Is over here, I'm signed in as the business manager as opposed to the, you know, the me face, the user, right? I can be this or I can be this. Okay. But the the 530, whichever one of these it was on, is this. And this is some other number down here. So I went with this. Yeah. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know. Testing tool. Clever thinking. I had not known that this was a thing. Uh, All right, sure. Scroll up a I little can bit. follow this. Pardon? Scroll oh, I can up. I can actually read this and do it so you don't have to stay on the phone if you don't want to. Oh, that's okay. How am I going to learn if I So here, what, what, what is that a link? Uh Oh, this? Yeah, probably. Mhm. Mm Right. See, they got me. They know it's me. Hmm. Uh, I guess I should create one, right? Preview the form. Preview the form. Oh, okay, sure. That was the only, they only had one, right? Yeah, but the other one said create lead or delete lead. So I like, wasn't sure. Yeah, that's me. That's the one. Okay, let's do. Let's so I guess I can go next, right? Uh, or I Same guess. Conditions. Or not? I can just I can not click close, anything. Yeah, I would just close out of it. Okay. And then click the click the create lead button. Create lead. Okay. Your test lead has been sent. There you go. Okay. So let's go take a look at that uh, workflow. Okay. So here's my. Um, just in case, right? Because it's supposed to come in as a contact, right? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I mean, I would look at the workflow. Okay, sure. Under history. Sure. Yeah, or refresh the page. Yeah, yeah, it should be under history. I guess you would think. Maybe. It did just refresh. Nothing came in. I'll refresh it again, yeah. which wouldn't surprise me because again, you know, I feel like all the boxes are checked. Yeah. And it sucks too, because there's like 10 people who came through this and my, this particular ad happens to be a Black Friday special, which is kind of coming up on us pretty fast. Yeah. It'd be really cool if I could actually get some clients off this in time. Oh yeah. I, um, huh. You want to hear my story? I, yes. I, I, I was running Facebook ads to the, to the level up day conference. First hmm. of all, I picked the wrong address. So it was. Oh. It was showing to the wrong people. And mm -hmm. then when it was the right address, it, uh, I had a DNS issue, which I still have. And it was point, it started all of a sudden, it randomly started pointing back to ClickFunnels, which, it, which oh. is where, which is where, uh, so I had a broken link. So I blew through a hundred and something odd dollars. That sucks. In, in ads um, for, for, for nothing, but except for one thing. Mm. Which was the which was the price I paid in the learning curve, right? Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. to know how to do it, to mm -hmm. know, you know, just this is a very good point. You're right. I because I feel good that like ten people have clicked. Now twelve people have clicked. I feel good that twelve people clicked. I feel yeah. validated, right? The ad is good. It's yeah. working. Six people filled out the form. I feel good about that. Yeah. I don't feel very smart that I'm not capturing any of them, but I'm doing something right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, okay. If it were me, I might, um, I might sever that connection again, and uh, and re and reauthorize. Sure. And, maybe, and then try that lead, try that lead tool again. So, if I'm understanding you correctly, you're referring to my integrations page. Yeah, I might, I might yank that uh, Facebook connection there. Yeah. I mean, it's quite possible because, you know, the other thing I could do is drop down and use this one. Right. Um, yeah. But, you know, it's, 
I'm hesitant because again, Black Friday is coming close. Yeah. Um, I would just just I would just disconnect and reconnect it. You know, if you, you actually from... here, actually actually click the blue button right there. Like literal. Okay. Well, screw it. Nothing's working anyway. Right. What do I hurt by doing it? Right. right? It's these bold moves that are frightening. <laughs> you know, like just delete it, start over. <laughs> I'm just like, no. Now I'm noticing I'm up here as me, as opposed to the rise with page. Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah, going to be fun. I noticed that. I noticed that too. So. Hmm previously linked right log into uh, another account there's that yeah but it's not another account it's managed by the same dude which is i think i don't know i don't have that answer I appreciate the help, by the way. Yeah. Well, that was bogus. Try this. Instagram. No, I don't need an Instagram. Next, I guess, right? Because we're not using Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Rise with is checked. Right. I guess I could check them all, but rise with is the one we're talking about. Yeah. One now one. I don't know if it matters. This guy's showing as one zero three, not. I would screenshot that and hey, and uh, yeah, I would uh, I would make a note of that. Yeah. Right. I mean. Yeah. But you know the the fact that it pulled in the right named form is a usually mm -hmm. a good sign, right? This is a valid point. Yes, on everything. Okay. I feel like I feel like listening in on the group and I feel like there is a lot of weirdness with the this connection though. If you search the group for Facebook yeah. lead forms and stuff. I feel like I feel like it's not been super solid. I don't know why. Like I said, I haven't um I haven't run them yet. Looks like it might still be spinning there. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I guess this feels positive because it's not being negative. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, but this is a, well, I guess as a page, that's why the other one said 530 because that was the ad account. This is the page. So that would explain why that number is different. Okay. And then I'm connected. And then, okay, so here we have the same two sets of settings again, the 530 and the uh, other one. So I'll just. Okay, Facebook Messenger, et cetera. I mean, I, I kind of would expect my Facebook form fields mapping to now be broken. If they're yeah. still here, I'd be surprised. Right. See, that seems weird. I'm going to click update anyway, because it may be off and then on again. Sure. I mean, if I'm even doing anything, sometimes if you just click buttons and you think you're doing something, but you're just clicking buttons. Uh, do you mind hitting that, hit that edit button for me again? Sure, man. And then just I'll delete them. Look, look at that first name rise with field. Yeah. Click. Okay. Just yeah, yeah, the blue, yeah, the blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. That looks good. Or just click it. Just click it again. Just click the first name field again. Sure. Let's go through all of them. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. What, oh, what, I what? thought I thought maybe the color changed for a second, but it does. It does. But yeah, it's just saying. Like, yeah, as if it was. I was like, you're telling me that it wasn't really connected I, but i don't think it was i don't think that would have been great i totally agree i think yeah. it's just thinking at that point i think it's just like trying to sort it out 
yeah. like a hover state, you know, like. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and. All right, and then let's um. Let's uh, do that lead tool. Let's do that lead tool again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So guess I have to delete that delete one. Delete the lead. Yeah. Closing and reopening. Oh, that's great. Thanks. Well, at least you've tried something new that no one else has thought of. Okay. That's something, you know? I agree. All right. So it still knows the form is there. I can check, but I'm sure it's the same form. It's the only form I've got. Yeah. Any submission in this preview will be ineffective. That's probably okay. Okay. Yeah, that's probably fine because I have to create a lead for it now. So you got to delete the lead first, I think. Wait, didn't I already? All right, sure. Oh, okay. wait, what's this? Webhook subscription. Oh, look, you got a webhook subscription now. You didn't have that before. I don't think I did have that before, no. Let's, let's delete the lead. I mean, okay. You do not have a lead submitted okay. for the that's selected great. form. Does that mean I should fill out the form? Just create, no, just create a lead there, I think. Okay. Test lead has go. been sent. Okay. And this number is different. Let's go check. Oh, look, here. now it's coming through on my phone, <laughs> on my Whoa. iPhone. Let's go check your workflow. So it was just a glitch? Fucking sucks. Yeah, it's coming in. It's on the workflow? Okay. It's completely blows. Well, it's in, it's in, uh, you know, uh, lead connector. Yeah. Which means it's probably in the workflow, right? So it was just a glitch. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of the principle of just turn it off and turn it back on again. Really? <laughs> it is. And that sucks that that works. It truly sucks that that is an effective strategy for dealing with something. Uh -huh. It's nice though that you don't have to wait for a real a real lead to come through, right? And pay for stuff, you know, and yes. that you use that using that tool. So you now now I'm getting content ideas for my channel. Dude, feel free. I will be a case study. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Well, obviously it worked because it wouldn't come to lead connector without hitting my workflow. Yeah. That's right. Right. It's from, it's and it skipped Facebook. SMS because, pardon? It's it's coming from Facebook, test at facebook.com. Exactly. And that's why yeah. it skipped that. So that makes perfect sense. Yeah. I mean, are, are you okay if I just repurpose this as the video right here? Just say, hey, Facebook lead troubleshooting? Or, uh, are you, or you want me to make a separate video? Uh, it's absolutely up to you. I don't think I shared any data that was. I don't think you've showed anything really proprietary. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it works for me. It's up to you. Okay, cool. That would be awesome. Cool. Well, great. Then you actually helped me a lot significantly because now it works. Awesome. Well, and you help. Oh, wait, me wait, wait. Can uh... you blur stuff? Because there were like not API keys, yeah, but there no, was. I'll blur everything. I'll, I'll scrub it before I post it. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. All right. Well, I'm going to jump on my next call, but yeah, it's good to connect with you again. I, I appreciated our last conversation. I learned a lot from you last time. So. What the uh, hell you say? I hope you did. That's fantastic, man. Thank you. Yeah, you no, really helped I, me. Okay. Yeah, I really appreciate this. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support, and we hope to see you on the next episode of the Marketing Show.